Hi there, welcome back to the uh, channel, Brian ZL3 XDJ in the uh, in the shack again, and um, <clears throat> yeah, we, we uh, with regard to the uh, previous videos I did with uh, elevated uh, verticals with um, just a few radials, the the results. Um, after a few weeks have uh, been been very very good at, very good indeed <coughs> excuse me i've actually um I, I think i think on um, on 20 and uh, 17 pretty much worked um around the world and into uh, scandinavia europe uh, europe and and into the british isles uh, pretty much most most days uh, most days since the antennas went up. Um, just have a quick look at the um, at the logbook here, two six. Just have a quick look over at the uh, logbook, see what we've got. Um, on uh, twenty meters, uh, uh, especially Pete, we got again a Mike three kilo X ray Zulu stroke sort of portable um, QRP. And uh, a few other G stations and a G, G uh, a Golf Eight there, Sugar Mike, uh, Mike Zero, G A W, G A Zero. Quite a few. Just uh, scroll down a wee bit here if I can uh, see on the screen. Uh, F Finland and uh, uh, Sweden and uh, and John. Mike Zero, Alpha Sierra November, Golf 4, Radio Charlie Golf, and yeah, it just goes uh, on and on. Uh, that's on uh, 20 metres. Um, have a look down here at um, 17 metres, uh, Golf 4, Bravo Sierra Whiskey, another Sugar Mike, uh, some uh, Golf Whiskey on uh, 18 metres. So, your results have been uh, been exceptional, absolutely exceptional. I'm really pleased with uh, the antennas. I'm really pleased at how simple simple they are, easy to put up, <coughs> and um, uh, you know they can they, they can be my my um, my antennas. If we just go back and have a look here, this is the basic antenna here. Um, it's about two meters off the ground. And we have uh, uh, two radials and uh, a radiating vertical element going straight at the top. Um, this this can be fixed to a pole. Um, this can be hung from a tree. Uh, mine, uh, let's have a look uh, if I go back here a wee bit. A second. Um, this is... Um, this is actually my 20 meter one, but it's a similar situation. Um, it's just a basic, uh, basic pole fastened to a tree. Uh, fasten, you can fasten, fasten it to a fence or in the corner of a garden and put the radials on top of the fence. They don't have to be spread across the ground or um, in anybody's way. And just a wee little, uh, a, a little black box connector in the, uh, in the. Uh, in, in the middle there and, uh, and today is today's video uh, is after a few uh, emails I received about the antenna a few people have tried this and a few people have been asking me about the wee little black box <laughs> what's in the black box nothing very much at all it's just a box uh, so I can do my connections so what we're going to do today quickly is just to run through how to put this aerial together um, which is very simple um, so the 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 seventeen meter uh, vertical uh, elevated vertical that I made seventeen uh, meter was um, was about six meters high and the little black box connector was about two meters off the ground. The twenty meter uh, elevated vertical had four radials, so that was um, uh, that was about uh, uh, where well, let me think. So that was uh, five, six, seven. That was seven meter pole, and the wee black but not, uh, box connector was about two meters off the ground. Uh, and in my case, the elevated radials 
just went out to uh, to a, a fence and a tree, but as I say, you can put this up in the corner of the garden and put the radials on top onto the top of the fence, so they don't they don't have to be uh, in uh, in the way. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is just have a wee look at um, is how I made this wee little black box up. So here we are here, just a a simple black box uh, that I that I um, that I got from um, a surplus store. Nothing uh, flash. We uh, first of all um, drilled a hole in the bottom so the uh, so the socket the uh, coax connected can be uh, can be connected there uh, with a with a couple of bolts run running through. Not sure how this well this is going to show up here, but so there we've got um, we've got the uh, connector here, and we've got a couple of bolts going through the connector and through the box. And and uh, basically what we have here is a piece of wire here which goes up the mast. That's the radiating element uh, for whatever size. If you're doing, doesn't matter what you know. If you're doing, if you're doing one of these elevated radials anywhere from eighty up to ten meters, you know it's the same principle. Obviously, ten meters uh, this mast and setup is very small indeed. It can just about go anywhere. So that's the uh, that's the radiating element that would go attached to the pole, uh, which comes through the top here, and that goes straight down and obviously connected to the um, the centre of the coax connector. This is actually a one. This this box is actually for seventeen meters. So we've got two radials. So we've got one radial here on the right hand side um, that that goes out to. Uh, uh, you know where, wherever you want to try, uh, tie it up, and the one on the other side, fairly simple. Two, two, um, two radials, one driven element. But what I have done here uh, is um, the uh, I've drilled. I don't know if you can see this, but the the I've drilled three holes here. I've drilled three holes here. So this radial, and the same on the other side, the radial wire comes in, comes back out and goes back in, and is attached, is attached directly to the, uh, to the bolt on the earth side of the plate. It is, it is soldered here. But because of the, uh, the configuration of the wire going through the three holes, that takes all the tension out of this side of the wire. So the wire is actually is 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 pulling on um, is pulling on the side of the box, not on the soldered solder joint itself. Um, and obviously, the same on the right hand side. We've got another three holes, small holes that we drilled. Take the wire in, out, and back in again, and solder it. That takes all tension off the uh, off the, off the joint off the solder joint itself. And of course, these are radial, so that they're not under wherever you take them out to. They're not on. Te they're not under tension. They're not pulled extremely tight. They just clip back um, to wherever you want it. Same on the uh, the one at the top. Uh, again, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but got three holes here. Um, so the um, the radiating element goes in, comes back out, goes back in, and is soldered straight down to the uh, to the to the pin at the bottom. Um, so that there's there's no direct tension on the solder points at all. I know uh, uh, there's there's many ways to do this. Some people put uh, connectors on the outside and and solder it and various things. I just take the wire straight in through the three holes. That takes all the tension off the solder uh, solder connections themselves. And then that's all that's in the box. Very simple. Take the wires in, solder them. And then uh, once you've obviously once you've uh, put the lid back on and and uh, everything sealed back up, I normally put a bit of Vaseline round the outside where the holes are, and the same round the uh, connector once I uh, once I've got it finished. And then all you have all and then all I have, so you end up with the with the with the box. And all I simply do then is um, if we uh, if we go back to the uh, Go back to the picture here if we can. Um, 
and then all I simply do is uh, the 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 boxes is literally just um, with a just wrap it round, just tie it with a plastic tie to the mast itself. So the the box just normally has a plastic tie goes round here, it's fastened straight. Uh, if, that, if this was the mast, for instance, it's fastened straight to the mast. Um, the the top of the the wire goes to the top of the mast. A couple of bits of tape round it on the way down, just to stop it flying round. Uh, connect the coaxes, and the coaxes uh, then goes off to the shack. What I normally do on the coaxes, I'm just looking. I haven't got any any large ones here at the moment. I do have um, isolating uh, transmit uh, isolating coil one to one isolating coil on the quirks at the bottom. Um, this um, the twenty meter one just can't see from here, but the quirks comes out, and I've actually got these uh, ferrite clamps. I've got ferrite clamps instead of the instead of the one to one coil. Um, that's all he is. It's very, very, very simple. Very easy to make. Just a wee box, three holes in either side, and if you want to add ma uh, more radials on um, y y uh, to the side, y you you can simply just um, just say say you've got you want to put three radials on either side instead of instead of one. You simply just put the three wires together on one soldering point, and you just like you just make the holes here slightly bigger to take the three wires instead of one. And but as I say, with the three holes in the side, it takes uh, it takes all all the tension away from the solder joint inside. Right. So there we go. As uh, as I say, that's probably as clear as mud, but. Um, yeah, it's 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 so simple, so simple to do. You don't need any uh, special connectors. You don't need any, um, any any special type of boxes or wire or you know just just use whatever is whatever is at hand. Um, and as I say, the uh, the results uh, uh, have, have been uh, have been fantastic. And um, I uh, I now got um, and now got another another box um, which. Um, this is only for demonstration, but obviously I could um, I could easily just go and put another one up uh, quite simply. And the other the other thing that um, that I've actually uh, worked out, if you wanted to go um, portable portable with this um, setup, the easiest thing to do is if you have a telescopic mast and you have the uh, you have the the wee box and your your radials all all the soldering done. You just simply get to where you're gonna go, um, stand the stand the mast up against a bench or a tree, and telescope telescope the mast up, um, and then when you get to a point, just fasten your box onto it, bring your radials out and plug the coax and you're set to go. So yeah, very very simple no there's no uh, there's you know there's no winding having to put coils and balance and and various things the box is just basically uh, for the connectors on the inside but it um, it's simple it works it gives uh, gives dx results and uh, i don't i just don't see what what uh, what you know what what more is needed if something is so simple and uh, so simple to set up. Uh, it doesn't have loads and loads of radials, and it works extremely well. It's just something that uh, basically it's a no-brainer. Just, um, just, um, just give it a go. Stick it up in the garden. Uh, as I say, a lot of people actually put the pole in the corner of the garden, uh, and then the uh, connector box is just slightly above the fence line, and then you can just take the radials down uh, horizontally on the inside of the fence. To the base of the fence or wherever you want to go they're not they're not on the grass not on the flower beds and not annoying uh, people and it uh, yeah that's it um simple as works brilliant that's uh what more can i say uh, have fun hope to see you on the air uh, this is zl3xdg off and clear thanks very much uh, for watching bye bye now